in the previous program we had finite number of iteration which was starting from 1 till 10 now we are going to write and program wherein the number of iterations will be based on user's input okay so our problem statement is to ask user to enter any number so user will enter four different numbers and the program should calculate sum of any number that user has entered okay so let's say suppose user has entered four and his choice of numbers was 10 20 30 40 so our output will be 100 okay so let us see how we can solve this programmatically i'm using four variables over here n is the number that user will be entering that is the total number of numbers he will be entering for addition new n is the number that we will be using every time user enters the number we are using i as to maintain our count of iterations and sum is the number which is initialized to zero to store addition of all this number that user has entered so here i am asking user to enter his number suppose user has entered let's say four then i'm displaying numbers entered so my for loop is starting from one and it will go till four so i less than or equal to four so this will be my condition that i'll be checking after completion of every iteration so here it can be any number user can enter 4 40 or 10 any number of his choice so in case of 4 my condition is true that is i is less than or equal to 4 so i am writing a scanf statement over here and that value will be stored inside of variable new n so let's say user has entered 10 because sum is initialized to 0 so we are adding 0 with 10 which is user's number and that addition we are storing into sum once this second statement is executed i will be incremented so i will become 2 so 2 is less than or equal to 4 which is a true condition so user will again enter a new number let's say user user enters 20 so in the second iteration my sum is 10 so i am adding 10 with 20 which is a new number and hence my sum will become 30 so it will go on like this until user's final number is accepted by the system and addition is performed so once my i finally becomes let's say 4 my final condition to be checked will be 4 less than or equal to 4 which is a true condition the compiler will then finally take the new value from user it will add it and then again i will be incremented to 5 and my condition condition will be checked as 5 less than or equal to 4 which is a false condition now hence compiler will skip these statements and come over here so here we are simply printing sum of given n digit is percent d so whatever the value that sum is holding it will be printed over here